안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. 영사 윤호 씨. 그동안 어떻게 지냈어요? I've been really good. Obviously been home for a few weeks, so enjoying my family, enjoying uh, seeing everybody around here. It's been a crazy year, so it's one of those, um, another short off season for me. So you get home and it feels like you, you finally get home and then you have to kind of start getting right back into shape. I am. Our, our house is um, about 30 minutes east of Raleigh, so um, kind of right in the middle of the state. They're doing good. They're doing good. They're, they're growing. Um, hopefully you can't hear them because they only have they only have one one sound level and that's high, very loud. So they're growing. Like I said, they're, they're both in school. They like school. They were in school in Korea when we were there and then they went to school in Japan when we were in Japan. So they're getting a lot of culture, uh, meeting a lot of new friends. So they're uh, they're enjoying it. 올 시즌 일본 프로야구에서 한 시즌을 보낸 소감이 정말 궁금해요. It was good. It was good. Obviously, I don't think anybody anywhere around the world had a normal season per se, but no, it was good. I mean, um, I enjoyed my time. Hanshin was a great organization. They treated my family and I very well. Uh, they set us up very nice. Uh, the team was a good group of guys. So yeah, I enjoyed myself. 일본은 외국인 선수가 여덟 명이나 돼요. 그런 부분이 일본 프로야구에 적응하는데 좀 도움이 됐을까요? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, right when I came over, I had a couple guys that had played in the last couple years between Marte and Garcia was was there before a couple of the pitchers, and then I had the the opportunity to talk to a few people beforehand as well. Our couple uh, scouts had played uh, for years for the Tigers and around the league, and then I uh, talked with Matt Merton. So I, I got kind of a little bit of everything. Yeah. So like I said, I tried to just kind of pull a little bit out of everybody that I could, and yeah. And then like I said, you have the other foreigners on the team. Uh, me and Board would kind of talk about what how guys are pitching us or different things. Like I said, I had Marte pretty much the beginning of the year who. Had the experience from the year before, so I would try and pull as much as I could from those guys and uh, help myself be prepared. 시범 경기 때 사실 굉장히 부진했었어요. 그런데 그때 한국의 타점왕이라는 그런 타이틀도 있어서 좀 주변에서 기대를 많이 했는데 그걸 성적으로 못 보여줘서 좀 많이 부담스러웠을 것 같은데 어땠는지요? Yes and no. I mean, I, so I could kind of see the the roster shaping up to where I wasn't going to be in it, and I think I kind of tried to to show too much. In the exhibitions, I tried to do a little bit too much. So I think I think that was more of, of the struggle. Like I said, I, we faced some really good pitching and I obviously had to get used to it, but I think it was more of a mental. Jeffrey Marte and Justin Bo are in the yeah, obviously I was disappointed. I mean, you always want to go over there and, and be in the big leagues. I mean, I was disappointed for, for a, a day or so, and, and then I kind of got over myself and like I said, looked at it as the rest of my career. And I, I was where I was at already just because I worked hard and because I uh, didn't let these things really, really put me down. So like I said, Bohr was the big pickup and then Jeffrey had played well the year before and they knew him and they knew what to expect. So, but I, I knew I was gonna get a, a, a chance at some point and I obviously didn't want my attitude to be the thing that, that didn't allow me to be up there. I didn't want to, to be in the minor leagues and be sour and just the people not like me. Uh, and that be the reason not to get called up. So I went down with a good attitude. I worked hard, and obviously it worked that I could I could come up. And then when I did come up, I needed to be prepared to uh, to play well, and, and that's what I did. One team, we have two players that have three players. That's not an experience in Korea. What did you feel about that part? So uh, yeah, it was different. And like I said, it was always it's also different that me coming from Korea, where I was the only foreigner in the lineup. So I kind of knew how the, the other team was going to pitch me. I kind of knew that they knew I was the foreigner, so they didn't want me to beat them. So they kind of pitched around me a little bit. So when I was one of three foreigners, it was a little bit different because I had to I had to think a little bit different. I had to realize that they weren't going to necessarily approach me as they had in the past because they can't walk three and four guys or throw around three or four guys in every lineup. 이군 경기 때 견제구에 뭐 머리를 맞아서 병원에 실려간 적도 있었어요. 그때 상황이 좀 어땠나요? Yeah, it was fine. Uh, actually, in Korea the year before, I got hit in Lotte, running from first to second, and I had a little, I don't know, I mean, I, maybe concussion, very mild, a little woozy, a little dizzy, and it was kind of the same thing here. I just got hit with the pickoff. I played the rest of the game, but then the following day, I didn't feel great. So, but yeah, it was just one of those things I obviously, the head and the brain is nothing to, to, to mess around with. So I wanted to just kind of 
take a day or two off. And then, like I said, luckily after the day or two, I felt better and then I got called up. So, so everything worked out. 그러다가 기다렸던 일군에 올라가서 그첫 경기 때 스리런 홈런을 치고 그 경기에서 MVP가 됐었어요. 아, 정말 행복했을 것 같은데 네, 어땠는지 궁금합니다. Yeah, it was it was awesome. My first four at bats didn't go that well, so obviously the my fifth one to hit that home run, three run to take the lead in the ninth off what was going into the to last year one of the better if not best closers in the league so yeah that was probably my most memorable point i mean obviously there was a couple of other cool points but right off the bat just kind of like i said getting demoted out of spring and out of the exhibitions and then finally getting called up and then first game up kind of showed my worth was huge it was it was a it was a big moment for our team we kind of 일군에서 뛰는 날을 굉장히 많이 기다렸을 텐데 미국에서의 그 마이너리그 있을 때그 느낌과 아 일본에서 이군에서 일군 올라갈 때 느낌이 어떤 차이가 있었는지 궁금해요. Obviously the MLB career it's just what you've kind of been been working for your whole life and I didn't know anything else so I mean that was obviously the, the biggest sports moment of my career you kind of work to get to the the pinnacle in the pros so that was that was awesome and then here I mean obviously I, I think it was more of a excitement as in the the terms of like determination of like I need to show what I have and and this is kind of the the point in my career that I have to show what I have or I'm going to be done. 올 시즌 정말 다양한 형태의 홈런을 많이 쳤는데 히로시마 경기 때 백스크린을 맞춰 가지고 상금을 받은 적이 있었어요. 100만 엔을 받았는데 혹시 그 상황이 어땠는지 좀 설명 좀해 주세요. Yeah, I mean they they do like a a cash prize for the couple of the sponsors do some prizes for like the back screen and the in center field. So, yeah, I mean I I told the team that's pretty much where I was aiming all year to hit a home run. If I'm going to get if I'm going to get extra money to hit a home run, I might as well hit it right there. So, but no, it's like I said, it's pretty cool. I know when you hit a home run, obviously that's that's a big deal and then they tell you, "Hey, you you want a lot more money just cuz you hit where the the point and you hit it." So, it's obviously exciting. It's fun for the team and I got some gifts for the guys with the money and 올 시즌에 그 홈런 세리머니가 굉장히 독특했어요. 이거 그렇게 그렇게 하는 건데 <laughs> 그건 어떻게 만들게 되는 건지 궁금합니다. I, I don't really I mean it wasn't meant to be a, a ceremony or anything. It was just in the coronavirus covid times you high five everybody going down the dugout but then they told us not to high five so i didn't know what to do and then there's like 50 guys in the dugout so i just started high five and everybody doing air high fives and then it turned into they weren't really sure what they asked me if i was having a seizure if i was a whole bunch of different things so <laughs> uh, yeah so then it turned into happy hands so then i had to continue to do it and then they obviously they made the towels and the fans loved it so 우리 시즌 굿즈 한신에서 제리 센트를 위한 굿즈도 판매를 했는데 그것도 굉장히 잘 팔렸다고 하는 혹시 그 내용 알고 있어요? Yeah, they, it sold really well. Obviously I was playing well to begin with so that helped but no, it was it was awesome. They you saw the towels all, all around town, and the marketing over here is is amazing. The way that they do, uh, it's really cool. Um, but yeah, they sold well. Um, obviously, I appreciate all the support from the fans. 9월 달에 유미우리 경기에서 앙에 산체스를 만난 적이 있었어요. 어, 앙에 산체스 상대로 3 타수 1 안타 2 타점을 기록했는데 혹시 기억 나는지요? Uh, I knew him pretty well. I talked to him a couple times this year. Uh, he speaks really good English, so it's really easy to communicate with him. So we just kind of see each other in passing. So I talked to him a few times. But no, it was like I said, it was good. He played with the Giants and they had a, a great year and it was it was cool facing him in, in different assets or in different uh, facets of our life between the minor leagues and then in Korea and then here it's it's cool to kind of keep meeting up with somebody. 9월 또 요미우리 연기에서 심판 콜 때문에 <웃음> 화가 나서 항의하다가 어, 퇴장을 당하기도 했는데요. 그때 어, 어떤 기분이었는지요? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I didn't. You never want to get kicked out, and I know, like I said, I know the Asian culture with the respect for the older generation is is a very big thing. So, but it just got to the point, kind of all year at that point in the game and uh, at that point in the season, I just felt like it would it was okay to to kind of let them know that I it, they probably weren't strikes and to uh, to like I said take a little frustration out. So, but it, like I said, it worked out. I mean, the, the obviously the team wasn't too upset about it, and uh, I think it kind of motivated the rest of the guys a little bit. It kind of puts a little fire. Under the rest of the guys, and we started playing pretty well. So, ah, uh, which is, 일본 야구에 적응하기 위해서 타격폼을 좀 수정한 걸로 알고 있는데 그게 사실인지 또 어떤 게그 폼을 수정하게 되는지 그게 좀 궁금합니다. Ah, uh, no, not. I mean, 
not really mechanically and stuff like that. Not, I didn't change much. I mean, even in Korea, just little by little, you kind of change a few different things and just kind of how you feel or how your body feels or how they pitch you. You just try to adjust. Um, but no, this year I didn't try and change a whole lot. 잘또 오다가 9월 말부터 좀 많이 힘든 모습을 보였어요. 뭐 체력적인 문제였는지 아니면 뭔가 좀 다른 이유가 있는지 궁금합니다. I wish I knew it, I could have fixed it quicker. But I think my body kind of got a little bit, not banged up, but just tired, a few different things. I really don't know. I think it was just kind of an accumulation of a little bit of everything. And then I kind of started struggling. And then you think of the mental aspect of, said, I think the struggle, once again, I think is going to help me for, for this year of this is what they were doing. This is what I was doing. Hopefully I can uh, limit the, the slumps that I have this year. 한국과 일본 야구의 가장 큰 차이점이 뭐라고 생각하세요? Like I said, I don't know if it's country size or if it's just kind of how long they've been playing the game or the way they do. I, I really don't know, but just the depth uh, is a little bit more over here. Um, in Korea, obviously, there's a lot of good players. When you look at a team in Korea that, you know, that they do like a, a five-man rotation, uh, here they do a six-man rotation. There's more foreigners, and then whether that saves the Japanese arms. 일본 프리야구 선수들이 특히 투수들이 메이저리그에 진출하는 경우가 굉장히 많이 있는데 왜 그런 현상이 한국보다 더 일본의 투수들이 더 많이 가게 된다고 생각하는지 좀 말씀해 주세요. I think velocity is, is number is the first thing and I'm not once again I don't know why Japanese pitchers seem to have a little bit more velocity than Korean pitchers when you think about guys in Korea there's not many guys that that throw over 95 much less a starter so right off the bat I think you're, you're looking at velocity and then off speed wise I, like I said a, a lot of the the Korean starters you look at Yang and what's his name Kim for the Cardinals and stuff like that they were they were more like a Lefty, spun it good, change up, slider, off speed, curveball. A lot of the, the Japanese guys seem to have that split that they can kind of go to at any point in time. 올 시즌 마치고 아마 재계약이 될지 안 될지 굉장히 궁금했어요. 그런데 한신 타이거즈랑 재계약을 했고 굉장히 좋은 조건으로 계약했다고 들었습니다. I'm excited as well. Um, obviously, that's kind of the end of the season. You want you're trying to to re-sign, and I knew, like I said, Hanshin had been good to me. Obviously, I I always knew there was uh, Kiyum that that uh, I played well for. But where I was at, I li like I said, I liked Ki I liked uh, Hanshin and. Um, trying to re-sign back and they they were pretty um open right at the end of the season and and said that they would like me back and we just tried to to negotiate and um it all worked out like i said and i'm excited to to be able to to just play another year of baseball regardless where it is but um also excited to play for a, a great organization with hanshin and and hopefully we can uh like i said win the win the pennant this year and win it all 한 가지 질문을 할게요 대표 시리즈에서 무슨 팀이 어디죠 softbank 한국 시리즈, 코리안 시리즈에서 우승팀이 어딜까요? Yeah, NC. I watched it all. <웃음> 알고 있었어요? Oh yeah, yeah, I watched it all. I saw hack, Hacker on there every night or every morning here. Yeah. Well, you guys probably weren't watching it because you guys were watching uh, the Korean broadcast. But on ESPN, how they had it broadcasted uh... here, I watched almost every game of the of the series. I watched as much as I could of the playoffs, and then all year long I would watch. I kept up with Kiwoom all year, and then I would keep up with with NC and those guys um, on other teams as well. 마지막 질문인데요. 어, 한국에서는 그 KT의 그 로아스 선수가 한신에서도 그렇고 또 다른 팀에서도 일본에서 관심을 많이 갖고 있다고 하는데 혹시 그런 소식 좀 들었는지 아니면 펜스 선수한테 한국인 외국인 선수가 혹시 연락을 좀 취하는지 또 그런 거 궁금해요. Yeah, Alcantara I haven't talked to, um, but Rojas I've talked to because Hanshin is one of the teams that is is interested in him. So Obviously, him and his wife are doing their due diligence of, of calling people and uh, trying to get up with, with different players and kind of get perspectives on things. So, uh, yeah, I, I knew uh, Alcantara had a great year, so I knew he was he would get some um, some looks as well. But then Rojas, I mean, obviously, he was going to get looks. Uh, 한국 그 팬들한테 마지막으로 인사 한 마디 남겨주세요. Hey, Kiwon fans, it's Jerry Sands. Obviously, I miss you guys. My family misses you. We had a great uh, couple years over there. I watched you guys all year long. I had a great year and hoping for the best in the future. Uh, hoping for the best next year. And uh, go ahead and win the Korean series. Bye, thank you.